Good morning, I'm Terrence Scroop, the Adaptive Lead from North America. I'm part of the Marketing Sciences team. We're here this morning to uh, do a little Q&A with Rolf Olson, our Chief Data Officer, get inside the mind of the Master of Data for Mindshare. Just texted him and he's on his way in, so as soon as he gets here, we're gonna start off the Q&A and learn a little bit more. Q and A, Mr. Olson. What now? Yep. We're gonna ask you some questions. And get okay. In your head. You ready? Is this, is this what you guys did with Adam and Cindy? Yep. It's your turn now. <laughs> ready? So, if you were not the chief data officer here at Mindshare, what do you think would be uh, your first choice for another job? What what else fits you nicely? I would just want to be Cindy Gustafson. Just the embodiment of Cindy. Just all of it. Nothing to do with the strategy. The hair, the clothes, the you know, the fancy hands. Yeah, you look good as a blonde. I think. Yeah, yeah. No desire to be the head of the loop. No, probably not. All right, I got yeah. that under yeah. control. No problem. <laughs> So, Rolf, now that we've established the secret desire to be Cindy Gustafson and gotten that out of the way, um, <laughs> let's hear a little bit more about what being the Chief Data Officer at Mindshare entails. What's your day-to-day -day like and what do you take the lead on here? Uh, a lot of it is really, I think, first and foremost about how you build culture within an organization, particularly within a group, so people feel part of something that's important. Uh, that we really think about uh, the products and services that we offer up to not only our agency colleagues but also our clients and ultimately how we have a bit of fun doing it as well. So, uh, you know, funalytics is a word that we like to call in every now and again. So you probably have one of the longest commutes here in the office. Um, <laughs> why don't you tell us where you're coming from every day and uh, what that entails? Yeah, well, it normally starts Tuesday mornings because uh, I actually live in Tampa, so I get up at 4 a.m. every Tuesday to get a 6.30 flight. I'm normally in the office just before 10, uh, and then I'm here for uh, three or four days and then I commute back. So I, I do I do like a good, good plane ride. Fair enough. I like to say. Well, so all those plane yeah. rides leave a lot of time for binge watching. So what's your uh, what's your preferred source of entertainment on those flights? Oh, I binge listen. Okay. I binge listen, so I'm a huge Audible fan. Cool. So a lot of podcasts, books on tape? Some podcasts, I do a lot of books on tape. So a lot of books, a lot of sci-fi, a lot of uh, fiction. Okay. If you were trapped on a desert island, mm -hmm. not just an island in one of the golf courses down in Florida, um, <laughs> what would be your strategy? How would you go about maybe making escape? Or would you escape? Maybe you want to be stuck on a desert maybe island. Maybe <laughs> I think I probably would escape, uh, okay. but I would probably you know, take a little bit of time to uh, just relax a little bit. I don't often get a chance to do that. Uh, I probably would see if I could build a raft, mm -hmm. uh, and I probably would make sure I'd find a coconut and call it Wilson. Build up a new analytics team. Yeah, coconut yeah. guy first. Little coconut guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crunching numbers. <laughs> what got you into the media world? How did you kind of get introduced into this industry, and uh, what's kept you here? I think I kind of fell into it. So when I left, when I left university, I've sort of been uh, been client side, I've been vendor side. I felt like I wanted to try a bit of everything, and I ended up uh, in a media agency and kind of fell in love with it. I just think the experience and breadth of clients that you get exposed to and frankly the things that you get to do is fairly unique. So not always analytics in media? Uh, I've been a data planner but I've always been something in data okay. but I gradually just became more and more analytically focused. Got it. Um, so in the course of your career kind of any key lessons that you've learned? Um, things that you could share with the, the rest of Mindshare? Uh, two really big things. Uh, first one is upward management, okay. uh, and it, it took me a while to really understand what that even meant. Uh, but being able to manage up as well as down is actually really important. The other thing is understand how the business works and how the business makes money and how you can contribute to that. If okay. you do those things right, your career will be great. Okay. Any areas um, either of the industry or elsewhere that you still feel like you want to learn more about? Uh, I'm really interested in tech space tech space. I think it really, it just evolves constantly. I think the opportunities for a group are like really incredible. Mm -hmm. I think increasingly as we look at hiring more data science people who can really do uh, big data type things, it's sort of changing the, the dynamic of what we've done historically. So kind of it, always excited to learn more about what's going on there. Yeah, I'm going to stop you for just a quick second. Uh, Cindy wants to meet with me for five minutes, right, so we're going to have to go and do that first. All right, so we know that Cindy is watching the clock and we don't want to make her angry, so a couple of quick fire questions. Okay. We're going to go through really fast and all then right, I'm going to let right. you go. So first off, how many languages do you speak? Uh, four. Okay. Uh, drink of choice, morning and night? Uh, coffee in the morning, vodka on the rocks with lime in the evening. Um, last place you vacation? Uh, Senegal, Africa. Uh, where do you want to go next on vacation? Uh, Hawaii. All right. Math or science? 
Uh, science. Um, country, rock, hip hop, pop, or other? Uh, other. <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek? Star Wars. Uh, one more and I'm gonna let you go. Okay. This was a loaded question. Einstein or Hawking? Einstein. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Really appreciate learning more about you. Everybody at Mindshare too, I'm sure is gonna have a lot of questions after this. So, thanks a lot.